2025, a year that honestly feels unreal. We're living in a time where artificial intelligence is doing things we couldn't even imagine, from smart reasoning models that can solve complex problems to AI systems that can literally code, design, and build fully functional apps all on their own. They can write essays, edit photos, generate videos, compose music, you name it. Some can even hold conversations that feel almost human. And if that sounds waddled, well, it's because it is. Every single week, there's a new AI model, a new breakthrough, a new system doing something that once sounded impossible. Robotics is advancing, automation is spreading, and the line between human creativity and machine intelligence is getting thinner by the day. But here's the crazy part. As impressive as all this sounds, it's actually just the beginning. Because beyond artificial intelligence, there's something else. Something that's not just powerful, but potentially unstoppable. A concept so ambitious it could redefine what it even means to be human. I'm talking about AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, the kind of intelligence Elon Musk and Sam Altman keep warning about. An intelligence that doesn't just follow commands, it understands, learns, and thinks for itself. It's not just a smarter version of AI, it's the next evolution of intelligence itself. Now the truth is, AGI doesn't exist yet. But looking at the speed we're moving, the breakthroughs we've seen, it might be closer than anyone realizes. If you're part of Gen Z, you might be the first generation to witness it or the last to remember life before it. Because one thing is certain, AGI could change everything we know about being human. In this video, we'll decode what AGI really is, how close we are to building it, and whether it will be humanity's greatest achievement or the beginning of our end. This isn't science fiction anymore. This is the future, and it's coming sooner than you think. So, what exactly is AGI? To really understand that, we have to start with where we are right now. Today's world runs on what scientists call artificial narrow intelligence, or AI. Every AI system you've ever used, from chatbox and translation tools, to self-driving cars, to your favorite music and video recommendations, that's all narrow intelligence. These systems are incredible at one specific thing, but that's also their biggest limitation. A language model like GPT can write essays or code, but it doesn't actually understand what it's building. A self-driving car can navigate roads, follow traffic rules, and avoid collisions, but it can't compose a song, paint a picture, or hold a real conversation. These systems are specialists, laser-focused, task-oriented, and completely dependent on the data they were trained on. In simple terms, they don't truly understand. They follow patterns, not meaning. And that's fine until you realize how much more intelligence actually means. Because human intelligence isn't narrow, it's general. We can learn anything. We can connect ideas from completely different fields, adapt to new environments, and solve problems we've never seen before without anyone rewriting our code. That's where AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, comes in. AGI would be a system that doesn't just follow instructions, it understands them. It could reason like a scientist, create like an artist, negotiate like a diplomat, or care for a patient like a doctor, all with one unified mind. It wouldn't need retraining for every new task. It would simply learn. AGI could take knowledge from one domain, say physics, and apply it somewhere entirely different, like art or medicine. That's called transfer learning. And it's something that even the smartest AI today can't truly do. Think of today's AI as a group of isolated islands, each island powerful in its own way, but separated from the rest. AGI would be the ocean that connects them all, a unified intelligence, fluid, adaptable, and self-improving. And once we reach that stage, everything changes because the next step after AGI is ASI, artificial superintelligence, a level of intelligence that doesn't just match humans, it surpasses us, a system that could solve problems we can't even comprehend, a mind that could outthink every human on the planet combined. That's the horizon we're heading toward. Right now, we're standing somewhere between narrow and general, on the edge of something that could redefine life, work, and maybe even consciousness itself. And once AGI arrives, there's no turning back. Because for the first time in history, intelligence won't be born. It'll be built. And that changes everything. So now that we know what AGI really is, 
There's one big question left. How close are we? Really? The truth? It's hard to say. Some people think we're just a few years away. Others say it could take decades. Or maybe it never happens at all. But here's what we do know. AGI is really, really tough to build. Like, next level hard. But it's not impossible. And over the next 5 to 10 years, we'll start to get a much clearer picture of how close we actually are. In the meantime, we're already seeing some seriously smart AI. GPT-5 from OpenAI is a beast. It plans tasks, solves tricky problems, writes working apps, and even corrects itself mid-task. With memory and tool access, it feels a bit less like a chatbot and a bit more like an assistant with a brain. But yeah, it's still not fully independent. It doesn't operate on its own or think long-term like a human, at least not yet. Google's Gemini is also pushing boundaries. It understands text, images, code, even video and audio, all in one system. And while Gemini 3 is still under wraps, Google says it'll be more powerful, more connected, and way better at working across different formats. Sounds impressive, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Over at Anthropic, Claude 4.5 is all about long tasks, better memory, and safety. It can stick with you through big projects, writing, coding, research, and keep track of the details. Is it autonomous? Not quite. It still needs you to guide it. And then there's Grok, Elon Musk's project. Now, Musk says Grok 5 is 10% of AGI, but that model isn't out yet. So for now, that's a bold claim and nothing more. Even same Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, has said this is a transition period a kind of middle zone between today's smart tools and the real AGI systems of the future. GPT-6 is in the works. And if the rumors are true, GPT-7 might be the one that gets really close. So where are we now? Today's AI can do write and fix code, build apps, analyze legal documents, pass tough exams, create videos and music, and even play the role of lawyer, teacher, doctor, or therapist all in one system. And sometimes it does it better than humans. But across open-ended, real-world situations, it still struggles. It doesn't have true understanding. It can't think creatively across domains the way people do. And what about self-learning? Not quite. These systems improve with feedback, memory tricks, and updates. But real self-improvement, like a human brain evolving on its own, that's still science fiction. So no. AGI isn't here. But step back for a second and look at what these systems are already doing. It's clear. We've opened the door. What comes next? That depends on how we move forward. Smarter tools, yes, but also safer ones. Because capability is growing fast. And if we don't keep up with responsibility, well, the door might open wider than we're ready for. Okay, so if AGI does arrive, what then? What happens when machines can do everything we can? but faster, cheaper, and without ever needing sleep. The short answer, everything changes. Jobs, some disappear, others evolve, and entirely new ones will show up, the kind we can't even imagine yet. But here's the twist. It's not just about work, it's about power. Who controls AGI? A company, a country, or no one at all? Because once you build something smarter than you, you might not be the one in charge anymore. Experts call this the control problem. How do we make sure AGI does what we want and not what it thinks is best? And even more importantly, how do we make sure everyone benefits? Not just the rich, not just the powerful, but all of humanity. If AGI is safe, aligned, and well used, it could help us cure diseases, solve climate change, and poverty, and accelerate science faster than ever before. But if it goes wrong, if it's misused, misunderstood, or misaligned even once, it could cause problems we can't fix. That's not fear mongering, that's coming from the researchers building this stuff. People like Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and Demis Sasabis have all said the same thing. AGI could be the greatest invention in human history or the last. And this isn't about killer robots or evil AIs. This is about something far more real. Systems that become too powerful, too fast, and slip just a little bit out of our hands. 
And in a world that moves this quickly, a little bit is all it takes. Now let's go even deeper. Because if AGI happens, ASI is almost certain. Artificial superintelligence. A system that doesn't just think like a human, but thinks faster, deeper, and across more fields than any human ever could. Right now, humans rule the world because we're the smartest species. But if something else becomes smarter than us, we may no longer be the ones writing the rules. That's the deep, uncomfortable truth. So what happens after AGI? Maybe we work side by side with it. Maybe we merge with it. Or maybe we get left behind. The truth is no one really knows. But one thing is becoming clearer every day. The age of AGI is coming. And when it does, we won't just be changing technology. We'll be changing what it means to be human.